Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Senor Mokolover, and let's continue playing as the Russian SFSR. So, uh, last time, we finished off China, or Japanese held China. Portugal has a pretty good take on this territory. Uh, I guess right now we could probably, oh, well, I guess it's the Japanese soldiers down here are mostly gone. But, uh, yeah, this time we're just going to continue fighting off that there German Reich and have a good time with each other. So, this episode will also contain me, or fo me focusing on expanding almost all of our western divisions to become 40 combat width infantry. Right now, these guys are only 20 width with 7 infantry battalions, 2 artillery battalions, and we're going to make sure that all these people become pretty, pretty thick. Now, we already have Mountaineers, who already are 40 combat width, with a 1% chance to capture equipment. So that's pretty good. Pretty nice. Right now, we are doing Workers of the Worlds Unite, in which we get more manpower. Um, other than that, our deficit of artillery has been drastically reduced, or is being coming drastically reduced, which is great. Uh, but, like I said last time, Hopefully, the Germans continue to attack us, and we can continue to win, but if we can't, you know, whatever. We got a lot of motorized rocket artillery. Holy cow. Motorized rocket artillery. Nice. We got destroyer, or just really, just torpedo launcher fours. Motorized rocket artillery. Oh, we have support rocket artillery, which isn't bad, but I'm going to wait for that. Let's see. Thick infantry... I will put on support rocket. Yeah, I don't know about support rocket. What about what if I do instead of actually let's move this around. Put you over here. Take this off. Save that. What if we added instead? Huh. Motorized rocket artillery and took that off. So ultimately, same combat width. Use a slightly more supply. Uh, this looks pretty normal, a more fuel capacity. We would get six more soft attack. We would get four more breakthrough, three less defense, 1.2 less hard attack, and eventually a little bit less piercing, but not really. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do that. Because we have so much rocket artillery right now. So... Let's do that, and eventually we do want to transition our soldiers into regular motorized infantry divisions. So, that is actually probably not a bad thing to do right now. Oh, crap. Don't want to go on too far. We got some artillery back, which is great. Um, motorized rocket artillery. Oh, it's right here. We have rocket artillery, and then we have motorized rocket artillery, which is fine. Which is fine with me. Cool. Hmm. So, destroyers are pretty much completely done at this point. So that's great. Let's go ahead and make some destroyers. Next up, cruisers will definitely need some time to do. But I think we're mostly done with our battleships at this point as well. That's actually really good. Uh, subs? Subs aren't bad, but cruisers are pretty important in my opinion. Let's see, what do we got here? These guys are still, I believe, 20 combat width. Uh, get rid of one of those guys, that's fine. We probably won't need nearly as many divisions at the moment, but you never know. Cool. Very good. Uh, let's see, I'm 25 and 5. You guys are... Can I change you to this? Ooh, we need more infantry equipment. Uh, let's not change them since they're in the middle of a battle. Advanced artillery upgrade 2. Great. Now let's get some better motorized rocket artillery as well as regular rocket stuff. Cool. So you guys, you guys are all, you are all 20 with, so let's change you up to thick, arty infantry. We're gonna need more guns. And 50 sounds like a good number. Reduce that. Good, good, good. Yeah, any deficit we can pretty much get rid of pretty quickly. So at the time of this recording, I am currently at 400. And 99 subscribers. Oh, the Japanese have landed, but I don't think they're going to do very well. So, I've been thinking about, you know, something to do for 
the 500 subscriber achievement, you know, attaining 500 subs. I think I've, I have a pretty good idea what I'm going to do. Maybe a short little video. I don't know. Not really sure yet. We'll see what happens, of course. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's not going to be very long. It's only 500 subs, which is, you know, not easy to do, but... Especially if you play Hoi 4, but... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, the Germans were just attacking us. Why have they stopped? Why have you stopped? Oh, wow. We were just in a deficit. Oh, now they've started back up again. Um, infantry equipment, 7,500. Now we're... Wow, we make almost six, 760 guns a day. That's pretty awesome. Agile aircraft, great. And then... Um, this stuff is okay. It is 1944, so we might actually want some better planes. I'm doing heavy fighters. Medium bombers are probably a good thing to do next. Uh, we definitely need more military factories, though. Do that. And... I need more planes. I really, really, really need more planes. Do that. Good, good, good. Yeah, just... We're holding on the front line super, super well. Really not concerned about it too much. We're doing this. That's good. Land doctrine is done. Armor. It's only March 1944. Probably can still wait to make medium tanks. Huh. IS-8. Medium tanks. LTTB. Improved armor skirts. Huh. Support companies. Ah, we can do recon probably. And heavy fighters. We can actually use a ton of air XP to make these the best heavy fighters in the game. So let's do that. Max out that range, maybe just a little bit more attack. And we can't do that since we don't have a thousand. Do maybe slightly less range, but more weaponry. So max speed's pretty really good for a heavy fighter. Agility's pretty good. Range is pretty good. Air attack and ground attack. Yes, please. And we've just created one of the best heavy fighters I will ever make in any campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. Awesome. And now we've got 5% more recruitable population. As well as plus 5% non-core manpower. And we can do finally do Strike the Giant. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't think I want to go to war with the U.S. just yet. So we're going to have to be on a continuous focus. Hmm. Navy modernization. Aircraft modernization. Army modernization. Excavation could be good. Let's see, armament efforts, more factory construction speed. Actually, that's a pretty good thing for us. Populate, ooh, population growth. I don't know how good population growth actually is. I've never really tried it. But something tells me, playing as the USSR, or I mean, Russian SFSR right now, probably wouldn't be too bad. And I really, really want more military factories right now. So let's just go ahead with armament effort UNO. And that'll definitely help our military factory speed construction. Alright, Germans are currently at 11.66 million losses, where we've delivered 9 million deaths to the enemy, while we've suffered a total of a little over 3 million. Asia still looks pretty good. No one's invaded on the continent yet again. Awesome. Ooh, an extra military factory. Oh, okay. Cool, so I guess maybe that armament effort will actually just give you military factories from time to time, I think. That's really cool. That's really great, actually. So, I will gladly accept that. Air Doctrine, of course, is finished. Engineering, 1944 stuff. Nuclear tech. Absolutely, positively, nuclear tech. We just need more heavy tanks and planes now. Because they're heavy fighters. We're at negative 558. That's not good. I do want to attack, but... I mean, the Germans are attacking so much so often... And it looks like some of our divisions just don't have the materials needed just yet to do that great of a job. Does anyone have upgrades? Upgrades, please. Markian, no. Vasily? Vasily. Vasily. No, no. No, no. And then, of course, a big N-O. No, I won't take... I don't need extra divisions from you guys for now. Neither from you, Portugal. Um, what a dum 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 Hmm. Could expand. Actually, we could probably use a little bit more aluminum. Let's do that. Aluminum's great to have. Because we will be expanding more and more. Oh. For our planes. Oh, yeah. We definitely need more aluminum. Hmm. I don't want to trade with anybody that I don't have 
land a land connection with. I don't want my convoy sunk, so that kind of sucks. Another division, great. Are you guys? You're only 20 width. I don't want to use 20 width divisions at the current moment. My three mountaineer divisions are 40 width, which is good. Change you guys already to go ahead and become thick arty infantry. As you're getting attacked, that's probably not a great thing to do. But they're just making more room for more soldiers, so. Not too concerning, not too bad. Uh, you guys are actually 40 combat width now, and you're, you know, okay. What do we attack now? Oh, yeah, that's that's going pretty darn well. Just melting them. Love it. Oh, ooh, lower the autonomy of subject. I don't remember seeing this too often. Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Ooh, Korea. Oh, sure, why not? We want to integrate them so closely that they will become part of us. Do it again, see if they can resist us. Maybe they can. Maybe they can't. Hmm. That's some warm coffee, though. Somehow we're not winning, but you know what? Whatever. Take half of you guys. Take a mountaineer from here and take the three mountain three mountaineers over here as well. I think it's because their organization just isn't lasting very long. That's why we're not really winning. We can beat them, but the organization is just not very good. 60, well, 66 is pretty good, but perhaps the Germans that just have more organization than us. Which really kind of sucks, but you know, not really much you can do about it as the Romanians are killing themselves on our line. Or the Italians. I guess the Italians are attacking. I really need to remove this down here on my left. Bottom, bottom left. Yep, and it went away. Alright, Italians. Oh, advanced rocket artillery upgrade. Very nice. Wait, we have a bonus for this? Yeah, do it. Why not? Screw it. Who cares? These guys are pretty well injured. But uh, you have... 20 combat with divisions. Switch you over. We need definitely more motorized rocket artillery now and infantry equipment. But I'm not really too concerned with infantry equipment at this point. There's no forts here. We're fighting infantry divisions that are probably pretty freaking thick. And it would help if we had air superiority. That's really something that we could use. So, I mean, yeah, we're not exactly winning, which sucks. But I attribute that mostly because of air superiority. But we're causing quite a few casualties to the, Ger to the Germans, of course. So that's always good. Okay, so we're doing better on our heavy fighter deficit. But we can still use more, of course. <clears throat> Do this next. That'll be great. As we look at our navy. So right now, we can get a super heavy battleship hull. I flip and love these things so much. They're just so gigantic. Get some anti-air on these bad boys. Uh, sure, we can have a dual purpose, but um, do that. And then do aircraft as well. So we have one, two, three, and then we'll have four mega cannons. Add some more anti-air, because screw you. And then another dual purpose. Level three, sounds like someone's invading. Level four heavy engine. Level three radar. Fire control zero. And then slightly more anti-air... Uh, well, actually, having another secondary battery will actually reduce our speed. What if instead... Oh, yeah, do that. We removed a cannon. That would actually make us quite a bit faster. We'll have three cannons then. Just because I don't want it to be too slow for our ships. I don't want them too slow. I still want them to get in there as fast as possible. But this will give us plenty of armor. Good piercing attack. Light piercing and light attack. Really good anti-air, but the fuel usage, of course, will be sky high. Go ahead and train one of these, since these will never be made. Or maybe one of them will be made, and that's it. Go to Leningrad. Do that. That's really good. Um, I'm not going to be making these cruiser hulls, just because they're going to be pretty much out of date immediately. Heavy ship. These are battleships. Yeah, as much as I like 1936 cruiser hulls, really... Not really worth it. Especially if we're researching them. So go do that. We want better destroyers. Level 4 death charges. Level 3 torpedoes. Um, how about we do that? I love putting a... This might be too much. 
Nah, let's keep it like that. That might be too much depth charge, but you never know. Anti-air is fine. That looks good. Get better torpedo launchers. Light engine four, and then I put sonar on my on my um destroyers because when I eventually make light cruisers, those will have radar. So do that. Do this. That'll be good. And then switch this over to Leningrad as well. Oh, an extra military factory. Nice. So we've got 10. Well, we actually have a 1930s, 1940s destroyer. Or 1940s battleship. Well, I mean, I guess we have 1940s destroyers as well, so that's not too bad. Uh, can you be upgraded? The 1940s destroyer can be upgraded with even better anti-sub and torpedo launchers. There we go, and there we go. Can you be upgraded? Yes, you can. I believe this is the one we just created. Yes, sir. As well as you. Awesome. Oh boy, that's a lot of things we gotta we gotta repair or you know make better. Good. Yeah, we're probably gonna need to make some um factories or some more naval dockyards. But that's okay. We're almost out of our deficit of heavy tanks again. Which is good. Don't need this. I don't need anti-tank, because who needs anti-tank, right? Exactly. Also, I want to let you know that the German AI, with their land doctrine, they went down, of course, mobile warfare land doctrine. But they went down the path that gave them a total of 5% more recruitable population. So that's how come the Germans always seem to have so much uh, manpower. That's really the only reason why. Recon Company 3, that, that should definitely help. Industry, sure, let's get a little more extraction, and of course we can't win because our organization, compared to theirs, is just too low. Cool. Tanks. Well, since we're not going to war with the... Well, actually, you know what? Do that. Go ahead and do that, because I want to add more armies to this group as well. Tanks. We have quite a few tanks now. I want them to lead the attack. Here. This should be able to help us push around the enemy, or push the enemy back. God, the Germans just love attacking, man. Very nice, very nice. Just keep it up, guys. Keep it up. <clears throat> Casualties are good for everyone, except for me. Mm, gotta love coffee. Very nice, very nice. They're attacking from Warsaw over a double river to get to this province. That's a little nuts. A little crazy, not gonna lie. Um, but dum bum bum bum. Oh, it looks like someone invaded down here in Bordeaux. That's really good. Of course, the Allies haven't done really anything around here because there's. I've looked at over here, and there's like 50 Allied divisions over there. So obviously, they're never going to be able to get out of there because there's too many divisions and the supplies not great. But the Germans also can't push them out. So go figure. All right, so we have our tanks down here. They're pretty good to go. Well, most of them. The organization is pretty bad. Not gonna lie, pretty bad. So whatever we can do, we're gonna try it. And give them just a little bit more time to maybe get a little bit more organized before they're thrown into the fray. And, ooh, 33%. Fighter models bonus. Interesting. Naval doctrine. Well, we really don't need to focus on our naval doctrine too much. It's June 1944. Let's get some of that. Medium bombers. No upgrades at the moment. Another infantry division. Keep, keep doing the front line for now. As people in Romania are attacking us. So be it. Nice. Alright. So the tank should be good to go right now. Advanced rocket artillery upgrade number two. Good. 141 days isn't bad. Soft attack goes up to 42. What is the soft attack for the earlier one? So this is 42 soft attack for semi-modern artillery. This one has 34. So that's a substantial increase. Not too bad. But for you guys, go ahead... And do your best to take these guys out. And throw three guys over here. Can these tanks attack the enemy and do well? Well, they can't get pierced right now. At least at the moment. The organization isn't holding on very well. But that's a... If you took a look, that's a ton of breakthrough they had. Tons and tons of breakthrough. And that's right, Axis members. We pushed you back out. Come try to kill our tanks. And they were very upset and they're killing their own men off again. Cool. Just, yeah, yeah, you, you don't like that, huh? 
7 heavy tank divisions and a 40 width motorized division. Probably is not doing well for you. Hmm. Well, I mean, you are at 13 million casualties. I definitely want worse off, but I'm not going to attack over a river because, you know, I know my limitations. Our air force is pretty rotten right now, so we're only going to really attack areas in which we think we can win. So basically anywhere that we're not fighting over a river. Take a quick look at our fighter stockpile. Oh, oh god, we just lost like a thousand heavy tanks doing that. Holy crap. Uh, medium tanks? No one needs medium tanks. I will give a lot of my light tanks, though, to my allies, my puppets, so... Um, fighters. Our allies don't need fighters. Heavy tanks are doing better. Let's give the Baltic states some love. Uh, where is that? Oh, Lenny's. Nice. Basic cruiser models. Uh, convoys. Yeah, take some convoys. Take like a hundred. Take 1768 of light tanks. Do you need anything else? 228 SVTs? Yeah, you could use that, and we'll give you about a thousand more trucks. And about two thousand more artillery pieces. Cool. Sorry, yeah, I'm showing favoritism to one group. They need it because they're on the European front for the most part. Cool, let's do that next. Great job, tanks. Yeah, some of you suffered some pretty bad casualties. Well, actually, maybe you didn't. I guess the tanks are really just needed for uh, creating the next batch of tanks, so really not that bad. Artillery is good. Infantry, infantry equipment is good. Uh, let's see. I already changed this guy over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, I have some 20 width that are just artillery and another 20 width that are all just infantry. Select all. And go ahead and convert yourself over to thick infantry boys. Good, good, good. Construction is going swimmingly. Um, I'm going to add in another refinery right now, and then another thing of military factories. Do that, yeah. Cool. Medium bombers are doing okay. I need more rubber and more aluminum, obviously, but yeah, we're doing better on our heavy fighters. Good. Let's do this next. Alright, not bad. And MK1 decryption. A little bit more decryption. Next, we'll get a little bit more encryption. Awesome. All right, heavy tanks, please make it down there when you're not getting attacked. Ah, uh, very good. Also, I did check up on the Germans' supply, their stockpile of equipment and goods. And currently, they are not doing so well. They are out, at least at the beginning of this video, out 100,000 guns, infantry equipment. So they're not doing super well, which is super okay with me. Go ahead and attack. And the tanks, they just melted their butts. Wow. Go ahead and just everyone stay here. Great. We're going to push this way immediately. Nice. Very nice. Very, very good. Yeah, 40 combat width is pretty decent. <clears throat> I'm probably going to switch these over to medium tanks. Or not medium, but modern tanks eventually. I think that would be pretty good. Uh, can we send... Hmm... For us over here right now, go ahead and push these lines a little bit more south. Because I'm going to attack here, and then I'm going to attack over here. Oh, yeah, nuclear reactors, thank God. I oh, love it. Oh, better radar, hell yeah. You know, let's start making some nuclear stations. Uh, where's Chernobyl? Oh, Chernigov. That sounds like Chernobyl, yeah. Yeah, nothing bad ever happened here. Our first nuclear reactor. Ah. I can't wait till an explosion happens. Love it. Hmm. Well, looks like we are actually attack here first because it looks like you can actually come from here. Send a couple boys this direction. At least our front is finally moving. For a while, our front wasn't really moving at all because, well, we can't really attack. And we're not going to be able to win here perhaps as well, maybe? Because if the enemies are extremely dug in, they got a ton of divisions, so... And, we, of course, we don't have air superiority just yet. But, hey, you never know. You never flippin' know. Take half of the infantry help attack as well. We got lots of reserves. But they have a lot of reserves as well. But, you know, we're kind of... We're doing a number on them. Send half of the infantry this way as well. And see kind of what happens. These enemies are getting 
pretty pretty heavily damaged, which is good to see. Go ahead and send some more tanks in. Or send the tanks back in. I have a little bit more organization now. No, alright then. Send this division this time to attack this way. And if we can't win, you know we can't win, so be it, whatever. We'll do our best. Against even 40 with heavy tank divisions, they're still putting up one hell of a fight. Ooh. Keep pushing the pressure on them, because if they cannot regroup in this tile... God dang it. If you kept attacking them, eventually their organization would get so low that they can't do anything. But, then again, we can always feel good about ourselves in Romania, because the enemy just loves attacking us across this river here. Ugh. So we're out of heavy tanks, mostly because... Yeah, reasons. We need more medium bombers. But that means we need more aluminum, which will come from one thing from Thailand. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Everything else we need to import. That's not good. That's really not good. Then again, I want to make aluminum production too. Oh, we got plenty of political power. Chief of the Navy, not really using that too much. How about anything about Air Force? Ooh, Armor Genius. More Armor Division Attack and Defense. That's really good. Yeah, let's do that. Heck yeah. Hmm. I will attack here again, but we'll see what happens. Let's see, it looks like the allies were pushed out of Bordeaux. Oh, it looks like some allies are trying to do another invasion in Spain. They've been able to land, but they have no port. That's not going to end well for the allies right there. Oh, Greece is struggling to hold on. I think they were completely conquered. Now they've come back? Came back? And, of course, Bulgaria has... Broken through the Dardanelles, so yeah, there's always that. Manpower of Germany. Wait, Germanized the Netherlands. Oh God, is is that allowed? Oh, um, there it is. Well, that's interesting. They gain a oh, I guess it is allowed. All right, well, whatever. Very, very so be it. So be it. Uh, let's see, guns and equipment. But it's good. We can convert another group over pretty much immediately. You guys are... Oh, you're already 40 width. Nice. You guys are all 20 width. Do that. Japan hasn't invaded again, which is great. Well, except down here, but I'm not really concerned about that. Excavation 3 is done. Good. Go immediately for Excavation 4 so we can get more and more and more aluminum. 44. That's not great, but, you know, that's better than nothing. Wait for our tanks to get a little bit more strength so we can attack again. But at least we pushed them out of Prussia. This part of Prussia, at least. Hmm. Radar is looking not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Planes, though, man. I mean, just... Oh, you're not doing anything. Yeah, join this group. Oh, oh boy, we got another hundred heavy fighters. Great. Go ahead and throw them on where? Hmm. That'll probably be pretty good. Good, good, good. The Germans have set up one hell of a defense, really. If I attack with my tanks, I'm not going to be able to use them again for like a few years. Or at least a couple months at minimum. Just because... They're really, really damaged. They will become very, very extremely damaged. Do that next, because why not? We might be able to exploit here. Uh, I don't want to send these guys in because they're already pretty hurt. Because they're trying to become better. Inclined belt cruiser, nice. Do that. 46, 48, 49, 50. We might win if we move fast enough. Oh, we actually might win. Nice. Up oh, and the Romanians are attacking again. Good lord. Guys, guys, guys. Nice, we actually pushed down. And we have actually taken some territory that was originally part of... Well, actually, we already had taken Lublin, which is part of German-occupied Poland. But now we've, we're, we've gotten access to a whole new tile. And you know what? I'm going to keep all my tanks here because I'm going to try an encirclement. It's probably not going to be very good. But it's worth trying. Actually... Just stay there for now. Because I want to attack here and take Lvov and maybe do a minor, very minor encirclement. 
Let's see. Chromium wouldn't be bad either. Uh, Stalingrad. Do that. I know we don't need cr more chromium right now, but it's always useful. Oh, holy crap. We got a lot of chromium. We I definitely didn't need to do that. Holy holy crap. Hmm. Any way to... Any which way we can expand. These 27 divisions are 40 width. Get the last two. Go ahead and expand them over to 40 width as well. Yeah, I think for the most part, our divisions at this point are pretty much all 40 width on the western front. Of course, we still have a war goal against Finland. And we'll take them out eventually. No worries. British Parliament debates intervention in the Benelux. Well, I'm sorry, Britain, but you're a little late on that. Just a little bit late. Romania. Jesus, how much manpower do you have now? The Marseille. The Marseille. No manpower. Good to know. Good to know. I could attack here, perhaps. Could I send, like, half of you guys this way, and then, like, half of you guys this way as well? Could we break across the river? With a little bit extra... Oh, we can! Oh, cool! We can actually take a piece of Romanian territory. Nice, good job, guys. That's better than I thought what would happen. Which means then you five could probably attack this way as well. Take half of you go this way. And take half of the six divisions to attack here as well. Uh, oh, they're getting attacked. And no longer getting attacked. Good. Can you... T oh, we probably can't take this territory now. Wow. Not bad. Really, not bad. Oh, we even circled them and they were pushed out. By some French soldiers there now. That's actually not too bad. That's actually fairly successful, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually pretty good, but that's all the time that we have for today. So guys... With that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. We've taken some territory from Rom Romania, finally. We've pushed slightly ahead in the Western Front. And we're pretty much now done converting all of our infantry divisions to 40 combat width infantry. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow where I might just have, might have 500 subscribers. Thanks for watching.